Hey, Brian. Hello, friends, and it's another spooky evening here at News 18. News 18. Also known as Halloween Horror Nights 2018. Yes, and we are here with our friend Brian. Brian. It's going to be a great time. Are you Brian? Are you Brian? That's our friend Brian. Thank you. Let's go do this. You're very scary. Very scary. Gee. Something pretty awesome we just noticed that if you're in the Killer Clown Scare Zone, they have a bubble machine right over here, and the bubbles are actually filled with smoke. So isn't that awesome? If you can actually get a hold of one of these bubbles, oh boy, the smoke will actually pop out of them. I like it. Oh, bubble, bubble, popping, bubble, popping, bubble, popping, boom, boom, bubble, popping. Oh! Get the bubbles, get the bubbles. Get them all, get them all. Hey, get, hi, 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 hi. Good job. Yeah. Yo, your wand's not going to work here. Well, I guess you're right. And there you have it. We came to Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights to play with smoke-filled bubbles. They're so fun, though. They're fun and fun, fun. So we stopped at... Alcatraz, our favorite little spot to get our drinks, because... We know what scares you. What? Oh, that's what your cup. So Veronica got a the souvenir Halloween Horror Nights cup, and these are refillable. Paid 11 bucks for this, it's 20 ounce beer cups, and $6.99 for refills after that, which is a really good deal, because it's $7 for a 12 to 16 ounce beer, so now you can get an actual 20 ounce for the same price. So you're gaining four ounces for the same price. Take your cup back. I feel like the older people. Well, even though this is Horror Nights, I wanted to show you guys something that I find truly horror, and it's actually in Richter's, Richter's Burger Company, and it has to do with some safety equipment that I think is very interesting. I like these protective head coverings for when you have an earthquake and nothing falls and smashes your head in. Very nifty designs, but this isn't what I was talking about. I just spotted this one. There's actually a pretty cool bicycle over here. Look at this. <laughs> Basically, it is a bicycle cover to protect you in case you are out riding your bicycle during an earthquake. It reminds me of something from like Mad Max. <laughs> it basically shields you from any falling debris. Pretty durable and it is sufficient to wand off falling debris. I would love to see that going down the street. I honestly got it. It reminds me of <laughs> Mad Max. We turned on the camera because we seen you standing there. Oh, hey, hey! Break it up! Break it up! Break it up! Now that's what I call love. <laughs> oh. Did you see that? That girl with the chainsaw was trying to cut in between that couple holding hands, and they didn't let go. And they were just in love. They were in love. See, you would have fixed me. No, 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 not at all. I would have sacrificed my arm for you. Have and you then you could have. Uh, someone so much you give them an arm for them? Yes! Not the expression. Literally. Literally. Give them an arm for them. Literally. Give it an arm for them. We're going to sneak into Diagon Alley real quick because. Yep. Juan broke. And we heard that they will fix it or repair or replace it here. So we're going to put that to the test and see if we can get a new one. All right. She was in a hard duel. Okay. And the wand snapped. Yeah. Okay. This is wand. Okay. That's good. I'll take it to the bookkeeper. He's going to fix it for you, okay? Oh, okay. Good, good. He's going to try to fix it. Ah, oh, very good. I'll be back. Thank you. You definitely broke that in a very intense duel. With the clowns. With the clowns. I knew it. If you want to know which wand Yip has, it's this one. 
The Elder Wand. Look at that. Oh, and let's see if they made any progress in the repair. Did you make some progress? Yeah, yeah. You Ooh, fixed it. That is some sturdy stuff right there. Now, keep protecting. Thank you. How cool is that? No questions asked. They just fixed the wand. Robotic adapter. Yeah. Wait, what? No, put that away. And if anybody was curious on what time it is, it is 9.56 p.m. We're just going to sneak right in here to the side, to the left. There's nobody even in here. It's 9.56 p.m. Thank you. I discovered that they use apple cinnamon to make the restroom smell very nice. Well, I think we're gonna do Slaughter Cinema. It's our first house of this season. This night. Our first house of this night. So we've been here for 45, maybe 50 minutes. And we are finally up to the entrance of the house. I'm not mad, but I wish it was definitely cooler out because it was a little hot being grouped up all the way back into that. The world was all too familiar with this little one. Midnight Snacks 2, the house swarming. Midnight Snacks! Keeping up with the creature's appetite has proven Ah. Difficult as it's Oh, Alicia and Guy Sanderson from the breakout hit Shitty's Kids. Shitty's Kids? Midnight Snatch <laughs> 2. The house swarming. <laughs> you are my little buddy! We just got done with Slaughter Cinema, and I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I don't know, it seemed like. It was a long house to walk through because every time I thought it was about to end, it actually just led into another room and I enjoyed it a lot. Yips in the bathroom, we're gonna get ourselves another beer. And then, I don't know what's next. Maybe a scare zone, maybe another house. But let's find out how she thought about. Oh, there you are. How'd you like that house? I was peeing. Oh, I already told him. Oh, uh, it was cute. Yeah. It was like, um, the little tiny it things. Me, mm, 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 mm. It reminded me of like a movie. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be like a movie set and it was. Like the 80s movies. It was cute. Not scary, but cute. Alright, well let's go find Brian. They have pizza. They have pizza? Yeah. There's Academy of Brian told me if we need to find him, he'll be sitting at Moe's. That sounds so funny. Like, hey, if you need me, I'll be at Moe's. Right? I don't like some Oh. There it is, the scariest ride on property. I feel like it just has to happen when you're walking through a scare zone, you have to just turn the camera on and just hope you catch something good happening. Nothing scares me. Huh? I don't think it's scary. Oh no, I believe that guy over by the 1985 party scared you. He pushed me. He pushed you? Yeah. I wouldn't think so. Universal would not let that happen. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Stop in the Moe's. See if Brian's in here. No Brian. Maybe? Barney? Maybe Brian? No? I didn't think so. This is your favorite spot, isn't it? Oh yeah, look at those trees. Look at those trees. I know we don't have a good low light camera, but it, it, it's amazing. Pretend oh. like this is visually striking right now, people. Pretend, just pretend or Yep, pretend. use your imagination. Wow. Ooh. Well, I'd have to say he's pretty spooky. You are the chosen one. Is this one of those Instagram walls? Is that an Instagram wall? Well, make one. I think it is. I feel like we should make it an Instagram. I mean, like, I haven't decided. I haven't taken any photos in a long time. Of you? 85 years. 84 years. 84 years. Yeah, I'll take a picture. Oh, okay. Lord, they're doing thriller. Coverage is a 
amazing. Minutes of scary tales, yes, please. Entrance. Well, we actually just got out of scary tales, and I don't know if that's the name for the house, but I liked it a lot. Did you like it a lot? Um, it was cute ish. But while we were leaving, we noticed that this house right here, Carnival Graveyard, had no weight. So we decided to just hop right over and do that. Tomato! Tomato! I seen a tomato on the ground. Why is there a random tomato slice on the ground back there? tomatoes from outer space. I knew it. We've discovered an Easter egg. There was tomato slices on the ground in this haunted house. So that means next year, killer tomatoes from outer space will be a house at HHN 29. Which is obviously a great movie. Yep. If you've never seen it, just get on that. Look at this. It's awesome. Isn't it? There's nobody in line. Like a mole and we just keep walking. Yes. It's nice to see Rip Riding right there. I always feel like somebody's watching. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes now. There it goes. There it goes now. There it goes. Thank you. Thank you. We just passed out the express line. <laughs> All right, what'd you think? It was cute. It's pretty cool that we just did two houses in 10 minutes, though. Yeah, thankfully, because it's, honestly, I could not wait longer than that ever. Yeah, it's it's only, it's 12.30, the park closes in a half an hour. But that was pretty amazing, though, back-to-back -back houses in 10 minutes. But if you're only doing this for one night, definitely get the Express Pass. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. Ooh, look at her go! Touch his hand, touch his hand, touch his hand. Thank you. All right. We got paged. Paging Mr. Morrow by Git Binky. He told us to come in here and above Dragon's Lair, there should be something for us. Oh, I found Dragon's Lair. Let's see if it's still there. Brian, you're tall. There. Oh, it is there! <laughs> Look at that! I have accepted your page. Would you look at that long neck? Huh. That is a long neck. I call my boss Mr. Long Neck. Mr. Long Neck? So I'm gonna take a picture and send it to my boss. Oh, good, good. Thank you, Mr. Long Neck. So we keep trying to stick this dollar bill in here so we can get the Halloween Horror Night tokens and it's not taking the dollar bill. Does anybody have a dollar bill we can swap? One dollar bill. Anybody? Nobody. I'm sorry, Brian. <laughs> I'm not getting in that line for cash register. Do you have a dollar bill we can swap you, sir? One dollar. Just one dollar. We have a dollar. It won't take our dollar bill in this machine. Tokens. I told you my loud announcement might work. Yes, you are very loud. It, Look, it see? Not like our dollar. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thanks for the transaction. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I got them. Yeah. What? That shouldn't work that way. Here, try this one. Oh, oh, now we're losing dollars. <laughs> Making it rain. <laughs> I just saw it work for someone though. It's not gonna work. Success! There they come. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. I know where you live. <laughs> what are they like? Um. So there's a front in the back. So they're actually Halloween Horror Nights yep. tokens. That's tokens. pretty awesome. You need them for the game, but they're kind of collectors anyway. So Special edition game tokens. I would a like a plaque. So Let's go tokens. get one. No, you're not getting a plaque. Oh. We were on our way out. Ah! Sorry, but we decided to come back to the Chucky Scare Zone because we missed this. This is the only scare zone we didn't go through. That monkey? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
out right there. You asked for it. Ade Dewey de Bella. Give me the power, I beg of you. Never mercy de Poichayo. Sabus in te amen de Welcome to the cult, you bunch of degenerates! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! I just gave you all. People, I tell you. I got your credit card number. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for Halloween Horror Nights tonight. Part two. Yeah, we'll be back. There'll be part like 15. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Especially when your mom comes. I think that's gonna be hysterical. This is six. Yeah. It was great hanging out with Brian. Make sure y'all check out his channel, Orlando Theme Park 360. And uh, we did three houses tonight. What was your favorite? The first one with the 50s themed movies. Uh, cinema... Sickness. No, not Cinema Sickness. Cinema Scare or something? Cinema <laughs> Scare? Wow, we don't even know what we did. Yeah. That's all I know. What was yours? Scary Tales. And you didn't do any, so... Uh, I did not do any. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I own them. Scare Zones. Yes, he owned the Scare Zones. So they we'll see you me now. next time. Toodaloo. Bye. Love the life Love, you live. Yeah. Yeah, live the oh, life you love. Yeah, part. thank you. Oops. <laughs> Toodaloo. So anybody tells you that the Harry Potter wands do not work outside of Universal Studios, they are wrong. What? You're a wizard, Harry. Thanks, Ron.